Hey, 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 my lovelies, and welcome one and all to today's show. I am your humble ringmaster, Chromina, the absolute worst arc player known to date, and this hardcore 100 days adventure is set in aberration. And I gotta say, since this was my first time on this map, it took me well over six tries or so to finally be able to complete this video, since it has a ton of random new threats thrown in your face which can catch a new player off guard. So, if you find yourself having a good time from what I've made here, be sure to hit the like button. And if you find yourself coming back to my videos over and over, you could consider subscribing since you keep coming back anyways. I would also like all of you to know that yours truly has opened up his very own Patreon page, in case you want to go check out the goodies over there. And join the community discord for further information. Settings and minor mods, as well as links to all the people who inspire me to do these videos are in the description. And now, without further ado, let the show begin! Let's get this party started. Shabam. We got chicken here. Here we go, people. We awaken as an extremely disfigured being with an itchy robo chip in our wrist and only a cloth to cover our divine cheeks. First things first, spawning at portal means we got a ton of XP notes at our disposal, so we got to work grabbing those and getting our basic needs sorted and dumping all of our levels into movement speed. Since portal, although being classified as an easy spawn, Ain't that easy! Whoa, 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 No, 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 no. Oh boy, we got lucky there. They just pulled up out of nowhere. To achieve greater survivability, we needed hide, so I committed treason of the highest order by killing adorable yet defenseless bulldogs to make hide gear, and in combo with this, we already made a bow and a parasaur saddle. The next day, we grabbed the next nearest XP note to keep the ball rolling and made an awesome spyglass, which is a godsend of an item. Next thing, we got Kraken at Narcotics, and this is a good place to mention that most tames I'm simply nicknaming at random based on my Twitch followers. We proceeded to KO a Parasaur, and once tamed, it was dubbed Green Beal. And I know a lot of you are disrespecting the Parasaurs in this game, but I'm not gonna have any of that, okay? I got Paras on almost all of my 100 Days videos, alright? And in this map, they're super useful, okay? They can roar to make most small carnivores run away, which lets you, you know, not be pounced off of them. They let you know when danger is close, and they're a great source of aquatic mushrooms, which is the easiest way to stay hydrated in this map. <coughs> Until you can survive the eternal battlefields, which are the rivers. With this new companion, we gathered narco berries, shrooms, and made trank arrows through the night. Day three, we snatched up the next note, and in getting it, we stepped on a nasty shroom, which threw us on a trip, no, gaining us no. the visual effects of the average person at a no, rave, boy. as we simultaneously shat ourselves and were drowning on land. For some reason. So that's always fun. Once that had passed, I started making some stone building pieces for a small tower or, you know, something along those lines to maybe tame a trike or something of the sort. However, no good levels were in the area at this point in time. The search for a tank continued into day four and we found another note and had a close call with Lady Death soon after. Oh, okay, so basilisks, raptors, and ravagers this way. That's not a good sign. Don't you dare. What the? No. How did he see me? After all that passed us, we grabbed another note and just left Portal Zone. I was done here and I needed to broaden my horizons and taming potential. And luckily we did that since we came across a Chonky Stego, which would be our next target. So I set up a makeshift tower base with a forge and a smithy on top since I wanted to make a crossbow for the tranking process. And to get the metal that we needed, we liberated some robo dinos from their mortal ties to this plane. We also got a Stego saddle ready ahead of time, which was nice. And with that, the taming process commenced. Yet if you have seen any of my 100 days videos, yours truly is not the brightest. You're supposed to come to me. What? Why, why aren't you coming to attack me? No, that's not how this was supposed to go. I made this trap for you. Ow. What the? How is it reaching up here? What? How does it reach all the way up here? Uh oh. This is really bad. This is super bad. I didn't think it could reach this high. Yes, finally. 
Where did Green go? Oh, hi. There you are. Now with this beast asleep in this brand new fresh morning, I used this time to tame a bulldog and named him Giovanni72. One thing though, I learned from my prior attempts to just stay with your sleeping dinos in this map since every time I'd leave a tame alone in prior attempts, a bajillion raptors and ravagers would just spawn on my 2B tame. So yeah, I camped this out which took forever. It was on day 6 where we had Kalik Regnar on our team which was a key factor to our survival early on. To improve our defensiveness even further, since there's an abundance of bugs on this map, we already made a full chitin set, and even better than that, we also got some middle tools. Now that we cannot be pounced off our tame anymore, since stegos are cool like that, we journeyed on further into the wild to find a better base location. Easy money. Daddy likey. As slow as we were moving, we did do our best to avoid conflict though. Towards the end of the day, we came across a broken metal structure and I figured, you know what, screw it, it's close to the blue zone for metal, it's a roof over my head, so it works. And with that, we set up some temporary installations, and that's about it. The day after, all that was done was set up some minor things around the base and gather some metal from the nearby little nodes. This continued into day 8, but now we had a new smithy, mortar and pestle, a doodic saddle, and decided to set out to tame a ravager. However, this attempt was met with considerable resistance. After all that and more raptors were circling my area, I decided, you know what, I, I, just, I, I don't want to have none of that, I'm just, I'm just staying home. Like, I, I just don't want to have none of that, I'm going to make myself some tea. Quieres? The desire to tame a doetic, however, was great, so we set out with our big o stego, as we should have the first time. After spotting some below average specimens, we did come across one which was decent. Okay, that'll do. That's not fantastic in any way. And, you know, it would get the job done, so we KO'd it and once tamed, there named it Ashen Stag, who would be a major help in our journey. Once home, preparations began to tame an Anki and the so desired Ravager. On day 10, thanks to being so close to the blue zone, we scraped together enough metal to make a whole flak set, but we did need to improve our metal production since we were yet to capitalize on the sheer amount of metal ore dotting the place. So the adventure to find an Anki was underway, and, well, we, we, we found absolutely nothing noteworthy all day long, so we just went home towards the end of the day. I felt like I should start thinking about taming some Megalosauruses early on in hopes that I'd have a long time to breed them for some really good mutations, so I started making a stone box trap, got some metal for a long neck, and for those sweet sweet tranks once we would hit that level. And along the way we came across a new pack of Ravagers, and one of them stood out, and I made up my mind, I wanted it. I began shooting him from a safe spot, but... Since it wasn't trapped, it ran off and, you know, its torpor was high and all, but I, I, I just didn't know where he went. So, you know, not only did I waste, you know, most of my day 11 trying to get this dude, I wasted resources and now had an army of angry cave monkeys on my cheeks, oddly enough. Hello, Mr. Monkey. How you doing, Mr. Monkey? How are there so many? Hold on. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I didn't think they'd be coming over here. I didn't think this is Blue Zone. How are they still spawning here? That was scary. It was first after this incident that as of day 12, the nameless infestation took interest in my endeavors since apparently this was still their land, which I didn't know. So needless to say, every day I spent here was more stressful than it needed to be, you know, oh, needing no. to always pay attention to my light pet to ward them off. To manage this, I tamed two new bulb dogs named Radica 16 and the Big 53. The three musky tears. I love you so much. The rest of the day, we gathered some more resources and made some tranks. As we set out on day 13 to find a Megalosaurus trap spot, we found the Ravager that ran off a few days prior. And its torpor was still high, so, you know, we had to finish what we started, of course. So, you know, a little, you know, bowl ass to the shins, and we landed the KO, KO. luckily. Yes! Thanks to the snakes right here, we had some prime meat to speed up this tame, and before you knew it, Azrin Blue was on our side, ready to be the beast of transport that it was meant to be. How is there a dead snake here? Wait, what? How? 
Radiga, did you just commit stake murder? Uh -huh. All this time, of course, we did keep an eye out for a good Anki, but everything just seemed very below average, so we just did things the old-fashioned way, you know, mining it with a pick, loading it up on the Ravager and bringing it home to smelt. And once that was done, we decided to go further into the unknown for some better taming opportunities. In this journey, we were sure to kill any tech dinos we encountered for some early electronics and other supplies, but it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Die already, you robo-bitch. Okay. Thought that would work. What the? This is not good. What the heck happened? Okay. Okay, cool. That's much better than the first attempt. <laughs> Oh, Saint Louis. <gasps> oh no! It's in the walls! <laughs> ah! Stop it! This is my home. We even checked into the blue zone and only came across more and more weaklings. And here is where we had a fateful encounter with another no no shroom, making us oh, oh no. so cold, but we toughed it out. Shortly after, we found a level 60 Anki and, you know, well, sure, you're coming with me. We tranked it up, but this time I did need to leave it alone in its sleep since my light pet was almost out of juice, so we needed to rush home and swap out our sweet babies. And luckily, when we returned, it was undisturbed. It was on day 15 where Fabro 990 was ready Freddy. We brought him home and got him in his uniform. Darts were being made at this point in time, and I wanted cryopods since it would make resource runs much faster. So we got some crystal and, and thought to ourselves, you know, we're a strong little one-man tribe with some pets, we could kill a Karkonos for Polymer. So we went out to find one, and after seeing them, we, we, we went back from where we came, since they're apparently very tanky. Don't eat the body, don't eat the body, don't eat the body, don't eat the body. No, I wanted the Polymer. So we, we, yeah, we went home ashamed of our arrogance. That is right in my face. How did it not see me? What the heck? To remedy this and heal our broken egos, we knew we needed a Spino to dominate anything and anyone by force. So trap preparations began, which would, you know, be done with gates and large bear traps. This prepping went into the next day, of course, but we did manage to head out before the day's end, and after spawning some really bad ones, we did find a level 130 pretty close to home, so we had our target, and the surrounding area was cleared of any hostiles. At the crack of dawn, we set up our trap and lured it in, or better said, attempted to do so. in there what the like how what what is going on are you stuck seriously finally I think that should do it Ooh, ow. wow he is going ballistic no oh, we're so close come on Quickly now. We don't want him losing his torpor. Yes! Okay, we had two more, but this is our last arrow that we had left. And that's also all our narcotics gone. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, wow, I should have come more prepared. We just managed to land that, which got me so hyped up, and to add to this win, there was a sweet, innocent, harmless sheep in the area, which was brutally grinded up into mutton for a really quick tame. Its sacrifice was necessary. All night was spent making narcotics, in case Mr. Spino over here would wake up. And there it is, our Spino, Grandpa Matthew, was fresh as a daisy after that beauty sleep and ready to provide some much needed DPS for the team. But this could not be done efficiently yet, since we didn't have a saddle for him. So after setting some scrap metal that we had gotten to smelt, we went out for some pearls to make said saddle, and by killing some trilobites close by, we found that it was enough for the time being. 
Now with a saddle on this bad boy, we gathered the much needed polymer from Mr. Krabs over here, and after massacring a few, I decided I'd like to hopefully tame one one day since I like crustaceans, they're pretty cool. So I aimed slowly towards making catapult, which in the end I never ended up making, but I, I felt like I was making progress in the right direction. Although I have the attention span of a dragonfly. Ah yes, the pinnacle of fashion. We went out to make the cryopods, which I remembered that that was what we wanted to do in the first place, and we were going to do this in some supply drops, and on the way we did check on our local crab population, but somehow everything always has to go wrong, doesn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What the heck? How... How am I stuck? Dude! How am I stuck? What the heck happened there? After all that, I force fed our boy all night to regain some HP since I had no intentions of letting this key player die. On day 20, the search for the supply drop continued. Oh, come on, dude. I came all this way for you to just peace out on me. So, that was just a big F you in my face, but hey, at least there are pearls here! Cause you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, strip the local environment of its resources. Or something along those lines, I don't know. For the rest of the day, we had no luck on coming across drops, and yes, in case you are wondering, I don't tend to google a lot of my game-related questions, only if it's like super necessary for me to be able to, you know, progress, so I don't really know where they drop and I'm just running around like a blind idiot and just hoping I stumble upon one. I'd like to think that it keeps the gameplay a little bit fresher that way. The heck? Here you two are. What the? Still on a tour of all the old haunts. Who the fuck is that? We decided the next day we'd just camp at the one we spotted where we knew a drop would appear eventually, since that seemed to be the less risky option. Definitely not because I'm a lazy sack of sh**. It did show up after waiting a bit, and there you have it, our first batch of freshly baked cryopods was ready. Not a lot, but it's honest work. Once home, we could get metal rolling at high industrial levels using our Ravager and Anki. Ten red gems, are you kidding me? That's so much. Thank you, my guy. I hate that I need to end your pitiful existence now. I kinda like you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit lost. There's so many tech dinos. So much to kill. I know I've gotta go down. I can't stay up here, so... Here goes nothing. Okay, I could have been smoother, but it gets the job done. Yeah, the journey home was one with ups and downs, but after a good while, we did arrive home on day 22. All systems were set for metal smelting, and we started gathering supplies towards getting a hazard suit. A fabricator was made for this, and bada bing bada boom, gas collector. Nice. All day was spent looking for the closest gas spot, and Bam. one was chosen towards the later hours of the night. All we needed now was some more crystals, and the hazard suit, the key to the red zone, would be in our possession. I need to see how I can get past this spinal. Because he's kind of just at the junction where I need to go. Whew. Okay, that spino is incredibly frustrating based on where it's placed. However, it would be a perfect breeding partner to get some imprinted hatchlings. So we made an identical trap as for the first one, and began the process of taming it. Perfect! Down she went! And as we were going to get some mutton, we stumbled across a much better female spino. Not noise. We just wasted a lot of time and supplies on that one, but no, oh well, we weren't gonna let the one that we already had KO, you know, go to waste, so... It, you know, it was still taming. And we just made more tranks and kept getting gas balls from the gas collector in this time. We were so busy we almost failed the tame though, but we got to it just in time. Hey, wakey wakey eggs and bakey. And there she be, Cheetah Z16. 
Boom, baby, day 25, a quarter of the way and we wanted that better Spino, so we used the same trap that we just had used and it went off without a hitch. After loading it full of button, bam, Choco Bidoof was up and about. I like the name. Our Lord and Savior has decided to join us. No, no, oh no, this is a bad sign. Oh no, oh no. It was set to breed with Grandpa Matthew and before you knew it, we had egg production underway. The next morning I started preparing for a hatchery made out of metal structures and AC units inside since the coming Spino baby was intended to be used to get the Drake egg out of the red zone, so might as well be ready for when I'm back with that prized item. Metal, crystal and other things were gathered all day long, which led to making a generator and 6 AC units. In order to make our prized metal box, on day 27 we slaughtered some crabs for the chitin to make some cementing paste out of it and that whole thing was rolling nicely. Whoa, 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 chill, whoa, oh man, chill, what the heck was that? Man, I hate these earthquakes. One of the very few things I did want out of the S plus mod was the S plus nanny just to give me some freedom to do what I wanted to do instead of just wasting all my days and printing babies every few minutes. We needed quite a bit of human hair to make it, so we gave ourselves a proper trim but it did not yield as much as I'd need, so back to resource collecting all day. Day 28 was straightforward. We made three forges to speed up metal smelting and kept gathering. Day 29, still waiting on our hair to grow to get the nanny, to hatch the spino, to get the drake egg, to hatch the drake, to hunt blueprints on the surface. So what better thing to do in this waiting period than to build a new base away from the angry rabies monkeys? And on we went to scout for a new spot. Oh no. Alright, here come the nameless. Wait, what? No! Oh no, we lost our Ravager, dude. Oh, this is dumb, man. Oh, that pisses me off. I thought he was safe. Screw you, man. Yeah, we lost our beloved Ravager, sadly, which broke my heart. But, you know, we'll blame it on the circle of life for some mumbo-jumbo. Not my complete incompetence as a player. In the end, we decided to stay next to the waterfall, which was, you know... Just a bit away from where we already were originally. But yeah, it's a good spot, okay? Fresh water, beautiful views, a constant war between Carcanos and Spinos at my front door. What more do you want? To make the move, we'd need a new Ravager for its capacity reduction, so on we went into the blue zone, killing some weak Megalos on the way since we wanted some better spawns to open up. Oh crap. I didn't know radiation starts there already. Okay, that's... Okay, the black line is radiation. That's good to know. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Move. Move! Okay, let's just not... Let's just not be there. Yeah, so this place made me very uncomfortable, so we went back into the green zone just to keep looking over there. On day 30, we did end up finding a level 140, but of course we had some uh, technical difficulties. There he is. Am I stuck on the Ravager? I am stuck on the Ravager. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Hello? Yeah, again, I don't know where it disappeared to, but it was just gone. Poof, out of here. I, I searched for a good while to no luck. I had to switch the Spinos and Bulldogs in between, but I did come across a level 125 Ravager, and, you know, that'll do. 
We landed the KO, stuffed it with Prime, and just like that, Non-Cohesive was tamed and brought home. Now we could get the frick out of here and leave those neighbors behind. But of course a move of this scale would require a lot of building and gathering, which was done from day 31 all the way through up until day 41. So, newbie base building montage, go! Shit. Don't you dare. I gotta make these walls as quickly as possible or I'm in deep shit. Ah, much better. Not done yet, but she will do just fine for now. We placed the nanny yesterday, but I had no idea how to power it. I saw a guide that it needed honey, which apparently is outdated information. I know that now, but at that moment I didn't know, so my dumbass went to go get some. And after a quick trip, I placed some honey in and realized that that won't work and I felt pretty dumb. I still proceeded to hatch three spino eggs though, naming them Hello Ferrith, Alifoggy, and Zero Emergency. Now, day 42, generator made, generator placed, nanny happy. Now our dinos could be automatically imprinted, which is just so comfortable, as we still have so much to do in the remaining days. On to other priorities, one of them being getting some more tech paras in order to make a horde of slaughterable robot babies for resources. Ooh, nice. That is actually pretty cool. Oh shit, that's a basilisk. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh, how did I not see that guy? Ah, oh, great, perfect. Finally, as the day was about to end, we came across one, but as satisfied as I was, I also realized that I got lost again. As the new day arrived, we tamed Nixus. Now, if only I knew which way is home. And after a long journey, we did manage our way back to base, where the tech breeding began. Also, to my joy, we could make an entire hazmat set. And remember what I said I wanted Megalosaurus early for breeding? Yeah, time to get that going. So off we went, killing off more weaklings that we came across. Sadly, the levels were not noteworthy at all, so all day 44 was wasted on this endeavor. And after wasting a lot of day 45 searching, I returned home and decided to get a rock drake egg since that drake would help a lot looking around for good tames due to that I can glide around. The preparations included making a trap, zip lines, anchors, food, extra hazard gear, and a potted ravager and a spino as our main mount. The day after, we arrived at the outskirts of the red zone, and I was a really nervous camper to enter, okay? I checked my surroundings, and there was not a single friendly face to be recognized. A radiated, toxic land filled with anger. So essentially, we arrived at Twitter. We began our descent into the cavern, trying to fight as little as possible, and after some detours and forgetting where I had to go, we did make it to the Rock Drake's breeding area, where we started to kill off most of the adult drakes ahead of time so that our escape would be easier. I want to see what other options I have, because I only see this one, which is not that great, level 90. But I already know I'm going to have to fight a lot of these dudes. Ooh, mama! Okay, yep, that one takes the cake. That is an easy choice. hi -yo. Cleaning service. Yes. Yoinked! Alrighty, time to step on the gas and rush on out of here because I didn't bring enough food apparently. I need food. 
I'm gonna starve, I'm gonna die from hunger after all of that. It was on day 47 where we made it out of the red zone in one piece. One stressed out and hungry piece. To relax a bit, all that was done was moving some stuff from the old base to the new one. This would require many trips as we had been smelting metal almost constantly this entire time. New day, new progress. It was time to lay down electrical lines across the base which ended up being smoother than I thought it would be since somehow I always mess these things up. We placed a chemistry bench and started grinding out a ton of cementing paste for that metal breeding box. As for day 49 and 50, all we really managed to do was progress a little bit with the build, transport things between bases, resource gathering, and taking a stressful forced nap which was pretty messed up. Apparently we touched the icy shroom for too long. Oh crap. Oh boy. Let's at least get to base. In case I fall unconscious. I'm probably gonna fall unconscious. Turn you on, just in case. Don't take that out of context. Ah, oh, great, there it is. I'm about to fall unconscious, it's better if I just set them to attack it. Thank you guys. Now I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Any minute now. This is doing a ring around the rosy around the dead carcass, I like it. Aw oh, yeah baby, it is time to place my first ever industrial forge. I was feeling quite accomplished, yes sir. But in building this, we used up all the metal which we had intended to use for the breeding box. So, yep, back to gathering metal all day long to shove into this thing. And this construction process lasted all the way through to day 52, at the end of which said day, it was finally complete. We finally were able to get our drake. To prepare myself for welcoming my first ever rock drake into this world, I got some stuff to make a fridge and then some nameless venom to keep it stored in there since apparently that's what the baby eats as it grows up for some reason. I, I don't know, but hey, I won't question it. Oh, it's almost there. I'm so excited. This is my first one. Let's go. Oh, I hope it doesn't die or anything. Come on. There you are. Hey, yo, buddy. Hey. Slimy foot. How are you doing? Huh? I don't know if I need to put this in your invo- I don't know what you need, man. But I'm gonna give you everything I have, okay? Everything I have is yours. Now, with all that being done, our pride and joy, Slimy Foot, was born, and I was a proud father of a monstrous baby who was unknowingly and forcefully taken from his parents who were brutally devoured by my spino. Ah, the joys of becoming a parent. I just kind of stayed with it to be sure it had enough nameless venom in order for it to not die, I just really didn't want to lose this. As it was growing up, I saw it was doing so just fine. And I started preparing to head out to the red zone since I needed some more red gems to make the saddle for it. We set out for this and on the way we kept an eye out for a good megalosaurus. Which we did actually end up spotting in the red zone. A metal billboard trap was placed quickly and swiftly and it worked like a charm. The KO went smoothly and prime meat was served. Day 5-5 was the day where we tamed up Gamma Turtwig who was potted up and taken home with us. One key to the bossing horde? Check. We rushed home as our light pet was almost out of charge and once arrived, made the rock drake saddle and took him for a spin. There we go, there's the saddle. I am so excited. This is gonna be my first time on a rock drake. It's been a long time coming, but slimy foot, we are going to be best friends. I already know. Now what people have told me is that I should level this into health and stamina for the boss fight. So that is what I'm gonna do. Whoa, that is so cool. Okay. So if I do this, right, and then if obviously it's like a gliding mechanic, so if I go down, it lasts longer. That is so smooth. I love this. I was so hyped for the rock trick that I totally forgot that we finally tamed one of one mega. So let's pop you on out. Bam. Sup, mama. I was really wanting to get another Mega ASAP to start the breeding, so we repaired our gear and made some tranks and some more traps and went out for a new hunt. The hunt was on on day 56, killing the weak as we went on. My notes do say I almost died though on this day, to what? I don't know, as I'm writing the script. Well, I was getting a little bit tense there. Sadly, we had no luck on the level, so we returned home as Slimyfoot needed to be force-fed all day long in order to get back up to max health. 
Also noteworthy, at this point in time I didn't know that Nameless Venom heals it quite a bit, which could have gone much faster. Once healthy and strong again, we went back to check on the red zone from Megas, but all we came across was explorer's notes and some angry local denizens of the deep. Our bad luck continued all through day 58, sadly, however. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 hold on now. On day 59 was where things took a turn for the better and we spotted. 150 mil! Let's go! Let's go, dude! Oh, that is perfect! Okay. Oh, man, what a relief, my broskies. As our sleeping beauty was out cold, we just watched over it and spam fed slimy again. It was on day 60 where we had tamed our Megalosaurus Carbon 321, and with that, we were ready to start the breeding process in order to obtain a breeding pair of equal stats. Now, you gotta get to work, okay? I wanna see an army by tomorrow. Hello there, Void Seal. At home, I decided to hatch three more Spinos in case something were to happen to the ones I currently had, so we got Snivvader, X Molly X, and Heal Dragons. Crystal always was lacking at base, so I got a frick ton and repaired all of our gear. I was slowly feeling a bit of the time crunch as we still had not visited the surface for good blueprints, so after searching for the longest time, we came across one of the entrances, and as soon as the sun set, we dragged ourselves up to this hellish landscape and started looting there like there's no tomorrow, which, to be honest, for some reason doing this was super fun to me. Easily my favorite part of this map. It's my first ever Reaper kill. Ah, oh, shit. What the heck? I did this for day 61, 62, and day 63. The only thing besides looting that I did was to just go deposit everything at base. And in those trips, I was just checking on the breeding that was going on over there. On day 64, the grind fest for the loot had hit a snag. As of now, it would only be 10% night for a while. So, on to other projects. I briefly checked the red zone for drops to no avail. So I figured, if I was going to make a ton of ascended flak, Megalosaurus saddles, ascended shotguns, and like 800 shells. I needed to really stock up on some metal quickly, so that's all we did. I know having a Carcanos would have sped things up quite a bit, but at that time I was thinking to myself that, you know, simply just getting the metal would be faster by doing it the old fashioned way instead of doing the whole process of taming up one of those. And now on day 65, with great amounts of ore at the ready, the other tasks performed on this day were making gunpowder, some medical brews, and checking on the babies. Why do Megas look like schlatt? Tell me I'm lying. Day 66 was used for more crafting, building, and breeding, however we did notice it was going to be a good few nights for the surface, as it would be 90% or 50%, no. I don't know. So we ran on over there, killing basilisks on the way, hoping eventually we could come across a alpha. Alright, everybody, time to rev up those engines as days 67, 68, and... What's your favorite number? Oh! 69! <laughs> were to be used to go ballistic on the surface drops. So, let's see what's inside. Recharge your little shit. Gimme. Okay, purple long neck is one thing. That's that's okay. Pump action shotgun baby! Yes! Dude, let's go! Oh finally! Oh no. Don't make me fight too. How about you guys come this way? In the meantime, I loot this. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Suck it, bitches. You know what? I'm taking the long neck, too. I'm greedy. Screw you guys. I'm going to stay here all night. You know, I'm already here. I might as well get everything that I can get. Whoa, that's a Megalosaurus Saddle BP Ascended. Dude, that is perfect. 
Oh, I'm so glad I stayed. I was gonna be satisfied with the journeyman one we had until now. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I didn't think we'd get this far, to be honest. It's been... It's been a long time coming that we actually managed to do this. Okay, never mind. Uh, my, my confidence just went away very quickly. Let's get out of here. Time to skedaddle. Alrighty, that's about as much good loot as we are going to need. So we went to deposit everything, which felt really good since now me and Slimy weren't constantly encumbered. And now that we have a Ascended Shotgun BP, in order to make it, we needed much more cementing paste and polymer, which was probably the worst thing that could have ever happened to our neighboring Karkinos. And this constant grinding of innocent crustacean lives continued to day 70, along with surprisingly more metal gathering. You just can never have enough. Oh yes. Let's freaking go. Finally. Oh, this is a big weight off the shoulders. This thing is the key to beating this map. This is what peak performance looks like. Day 71, metal, crystal, charcoal, spark powder, gunpowder, bullets! And that's pretty much it. Alright, well. Said grind was the same for day 72. I felt like I had a ton of loot from the surface which I would never need, so I wanted a grinder, but to make a grinder we needed oil, since my parasaur saddle just wasn't as lucrative as I hope it would be. So, down to the red we go. So, bitches. Hundred nine the egg. You know, I might as well take it, just in case something ever would happen to Slimy Foot within the next couple days. Like, I'm here already, might as well. Good stuff, my people! That is a good trip in my books. And now with my first ever grinder placed, it was time to see the return of our investment. There we go. Let's see if this actually pays off. I have a feeling I just wasted a crap ton of resources for absolutely nothing. But you live and learn. So what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, so it happens instantly. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with that. Now with a truckload of pretty much all resources at my fingertips, I wanted to make more cryopods. However, I didn't know I could turn on my gems in the grinder to crystal at that time, so I labored away unnecessarily at some outcrops. We loaded up on all that we needed and went to a drop to craft them and on the way, hunted basilisks wherever we could. On day 75, I figured I'd hatch the level 190 drake egg we got earlier, and I named it Small Bottle. I was hoping it would be breedable with Slimy, but sadly that was not the case. All day was used getting venom for it and some building in between. The time pressure was getting to me more and more, to say the least, as I hadn't seen a single alpha carcanos, basilisk, or reaper this whole time, so, as of now, regularly, we would clear out Portal and Lake of all Basilisks. Sometimes I'd check Blue Zone for Basilisks and Karkinos, and on this particular trip, I decided to tame this Sarko since there is a cave on this map with quite a bit of water, so we needed to get through that with the utmost speeds. On day 77, we got our Sarko Yo Mama 919, and we also made a scuba set at home in case we'd need it. Realizing it was about to be another day of 90% night, we rushed to the surface in hopes of getting a Alpha Reaper tribute. And well, since we'd be on the surface, some more grindable loot, since, you know, this was my new preferred way of getting resources, to be honest. Give me. Yes! Oh, that's my favorite thing! Flak chest piece, let's freaking go! Ah, oh, this is amazing! Thank you. Hi, buddy. Not you, him. He is the only one I care about. Is that supposed to be Earth? Alrighty. Sadly, no alpha, but that's just how it goes sometimes. We went home to grind the loot and organize the astronomical amount of supplies we just got. Like shooting fish in a barrel!
Wow. <laughs> I really like this thing. On day 80, I had an extensive call with Chaotic Gaming on my progress, and we discussed many things from my Megalos, to gear, to tributes, to bossing strategy, and my Drake. Through this, I realized that my current Drake Slimy didn't have a lot of stamina for the boss fight, since I was just dumping everything into health, because we needed a lot of stamina to stay invisible for long periods of time. So I decided that Small Bottle, our new Drake, would be the one to come with me into the arena. We would pretty much just receive levels to stamina and just enough weight to carry me with my bossing gear. As we still needed all artifacts and all alpha tributes for the boss, we ran around looking for some alphas to no luck, but at least we were killing some Karkinos and Basilisks as they appeared to hopefully clear up some spawns. Day 81 was more of the same, looking for alphas without spotting a single one, and Day 82 was spent camping on one of the surfaces for a Reaper Alpha hopefully to appear, but nothing. Just absolutely nothing, making me more and more worried that I wouldn't find one in time. But it was on the blessed Day 83 where finally we were blessed with the Alpha Karkonos, and I was set on stealing those meaty claws. We brought the entire gang to the spot and proceeded to absolutely tear this poor dude apart, gaining our much desired tribute. All these lovely tames were potted up and brought to the surface, as if I were to find an Alpha Reaper, I wanted to lure it down into this trench to fight it in peace. Sadly, as soon as all troops were deployed, it became a couple days of only 10% night, so quick reroute of the plan, uh, we were gonna go hunt basilisks now. So yeah, improv. The good news of this day is though that the Megalo breeding pair was finally done. That took a minute, but I guess better late than never, so on to making the actual army. And well, we were hyper-focusing on this, my dudes. We did all this hunting across the entirety of day 85 and all of day 86, feeling ever more pressured for time as we were getting closer and closer to the end. Now that some days had passed, it seemed like a good idea to try for the Alpha Reaper again, as I think it was 50% night at this time, so I jumped on over to the Horde, and yet again, it eluded us. I finally decided that I needed a change of scenery, as I was always at the same surface, so I potted everyone up, and I found a new entrance, and I went at it. I just want an alpha. Alpha! Yes! Let's go! Alright, it's showtime. Guys, move. Attack. Help. I'm stuck. Alright, I gotta put light on them. That might help. Now, we need to find the Alpha. Because I don't think we killed one. There it is. Come here. Wow, he's a big boy. 127k health. I gotta quickly get the light on it. Al Froggy was killed, okay. Where are you going? Come on. Where do you think you're going? You got this, guys. You got this. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm so tense right now. I hope he doesn't heal because of something. Dude, they're shredding. As long as we don't run out of light from the bulldog, we're good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Okay. One's down. Another one. Okay, it's not healing. It's not healing. Okay. Let's freaking go. Mama. Oh, that had me tense for a little bit there. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, one of you has to have... There it is. The Cre Reaper Barb. Okay, we got the Barb. Nice. How are we on time? Okay, we're still on 90% night. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. To claim this tribute was a massive weight off my shoulders. Believe me. We had no longer a need to go to the surface anymore. But we still had 
three artifacts to get, some Reaper Queen Clans, plus the Alpha Basilisk Tribute, so the pressure was still on regardless. We got everyone home on day 89 and started healing many of them as we need them for some more fights. They are bloodied to say the least. In between healing, I was sure to craft as many shotgun shells as I possibly could. Only a couple days left. On day 90, I wanted to wipe out more Basilisks, so I get Explorer's Notes on Small Bottle and eliminated a few. And to use this XP boost efficiently when I couldn't find any, I started making some Journeyman Megalosaurus saddles. I did have a Ascended BP for those, but I, considering that I needed to make 17 saddles, that would require so many resources for which I just had no time for that at this point in time. Alrighty, I've had it. I still was missing many tributes for Alpha Rockwell. I was panicking, so it was time to hyper-focus on Basilisks again for multiple days straight, non-stop. Day 91 had no luck. Day 92 had me stressing. Day 93 was depressing, and day 94 had me questioning all of my decisions up until this point. All of this dread, stress, and despair was rewarded though, as finally we found our target, a Alpha Basilisk smack dab in the middle of Portal. Before we began the fight though, I did snatch up a nearby XP note just to make the best out of this. We pulled up back to the spot and began to tussle with the Bomber Snake, which, thanks to our hazmat suit, we could do this with relative comfort, gaining us our final Alpha-related tribute. Feeling accomplished, we went home to give all dinos their levels, feed them, and make more ammo since a lot was used during that hunt. Day 96, we made the decision to go cave exploring for the artifacts as the Megas were still too low HP to take on Reaper Queens for the glands. So, after some prepping, we set out to our first one. This cave is relatively easy compared to the others, so it didn't pose much of a problem. We got it and got out, and got home to prepare for the second one, setting out to the water cave towards the evening. My Sarko and I descended deep into the Dark Abyss, unaware of the dilemmas that I was about to face. Woo! Bam! Oh, that's fun. Alright. What do we got? Skidoosh. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is annoying. This is not gonna work at all. Dunk. That's the problem. After my newbiness got the better of me, I decided to look up some cave guides to see what other options oh, I had and went you? on with my day. Go wink! Oi, oi, oi. Are we good? Are we freaking good? And this cave dive took us into day 98. Come here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, buddy, the clock is ticking. Uh, we have only one more artifact than the glance to go. So a bit of prepping and... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, what happened? What the heck happened? What's going on? I, I think I saw somebody fall down. <clears throat> Alright, everything sorted, and go 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 to the red zone! Last artifact, baby! Here we come! We arrived at the entrance, and thanks to the rock tricks and visibility power, it was a breeze for the most part. Alrighty, with that in our pockets, all that is left to do is get the Reaper Queen glands, so let's get to it! We have no time to dilly-dally! We potted pretty much every dino we had except for the ones we're breeding and started scouting for our prey. Once we spotted a good location, the troops were deployed and we began to take one down. Nice, we got it pinned. There we go. Okay, so we didn't get enough glands from one kill. And we'd need only one more takedown to get what we needed. So we marched through this place trying to pick a fight with uh, the head honchos over here. I think we don't have an option. We're gonna have to try and take down these two at the same time, which is gonna be really fucking rough. I guess here goes nothing. There's three now? Why is there three?
They retreated. Ooh, that was scary. I didn't expect for another one to show up like that. Okay, so... I did not intend on fighting three at the same time there. This is quite a big oopsie since now many of my dinos were critically injured. We brought everyone home, released them from their pods, picking out the best ones for the boss fight and started focusing on only healing those few just to save on time because we were healing them through force feeding and this would sadly take a very long time. Sadly, at this time of doing this, I did not know that there are these like weird bulb plants that improve healing, so my bad. As much as I wanted to face the boss on day 100, there was no way I could face Alpha Rockwell with like half of my bossing team at a third of its health. So I did need to take some time to slowly and tediously heal them through force feeding like I just mentioned, which took us all the way to day 105 by missing out on this healing plant effect. I don't know how, you know, sped up it would have been with that plant, but uh, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I guess it's not all bad, it gave me just a little bit more time to passively make just a little bit more ammo and gear along with some nameless venom for the drake. And here we are everyone, day 106, our last day on Aberration. We are going to stand up to Alpha Rockwell and show him who's boss, even though I'm doing this solo and this is my first time ever fighting him. The strategy is simple. Us, Ascended Gear, two sets. Ascended Shoddy with 800 bullets. Med Brews, random weapons just in case. Dinos, Light Pet, 17 Megalos with around 20 to 25k health at 500 to 700 melee. All equipped with Journeyman Saddles. And Zero Emergency with a Ascended Saddle as a cherry on top as a meat shield for me. All right, here goes nothing. I'm scared. Let's do this quickly before we run out of radiation defense. Okay. It is time to rock and roll you. We're going to turn off for a little bit. So at the start, there are no nameless. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do this. Group number one onto me. Group number two. Group number one, attack for this. Come on, go, 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 everybody. I'll take care of the balls. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, I forgot to change my armor. Ow. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Melt him, melt him. Got two Megas on that tentacle, so we should be good on that. Okay. Everyone group one on me. Come on. Let's go. Get started on that one. Bam. Okay, good. That's another one down. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Awesome, 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 awesome. Good job, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How are you guys doing on health? Okay, you're okay. You're okay, I think. Awesome. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Explorer's note. Don't mind if I do. There's always time for XP. Okay, this is where I gotta turn on... No. Oh. Oh. That's bad. You, come back here. Turn on... I know there's a moat for that, but I can't figure it out, okay? Okay, everybody. Okay, let's heal up. Because this is where the messy stuff starts. Alright, I'm invisible, I'm invisible. We should be good. You're still screaming. Gotcha, gotcha. I just want to do this quick. I just want to get one away. Okay, good. Alright, the Nameless are not interested in us because we're invisible. Just perfect. Awesome. I'm okay with some nameless getting on me if it means I can go not invisible for a bit. I just really want to have my stamina ready. I don't have to rush. I'm not under a time limit. This is in single player, so. It's the monkey boys. Die, 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 die. Come on. 
Qu quickly, 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 quickly. Yes, okay. Woo. Our Spino is still alive? What the hell? Zero emergencies. Wanting all the smoke. Please kill, please kill. Come on, boy. Go down. Oh, look at all them. They're just looking at their master. Master, no. Nice, we did a lot of damage. He's around half. Nice, we can kill this already. Alright, the Spino was killed. That's to be expected. Whew. Got lucky that I didn't get touched by that. Nice. Go, 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 go. We're doing so good. Oh crap, the monkeys! There's so many of them, it's crazy. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, that was close, that was the last bullet on that mag. Good. Good, 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 good. Always have to go in here for it to work. He's going down. Time to switch pants. Time to switch boots. Alright, he's angry now. Okay, our ammo's not looking too great. Go, 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 go. Ow. That hurt quite a bit. Ow, ow, ow. I did a oopsie. I did a really bad thing. Let's regain. Regain some stamina, man. It's okay. This is why we need it. I can't believe we can't believe we dodged that. But that's why we needed the stamina regen. Just because that Reaper was gonna be coming in. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Ooh, that was close. Ow. Oh fuck me, dude. Oh, just in time. Go, 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 attack the heart. Switch your runies. <gasps> no! No, 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 not my buddy. Woo. Okay, well, there goes the light pet. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that's really bad. No. This is the end. Come on. Everybody on me. Everybody on me. Everybody on me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm on the dino. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody do that. I need to I need to put on armor. No. Oh no, man. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I messed it up, dude. I'm so upset right now. Oh man. I couldn't do it. Oh, I laid all of you down. I'm sorry. Ah, if I wouldn't have messed up there in the end, I would have had a chance. Those balds got me in the end while I was on the dinos. We almost had a break for it, but... Yep. It is what it is, and it do what it do. I had fun. I had fun. But this is heartbreaking. This is pretty heartbreaking.
Well, folks, there you have it. I'm pretty sure I could have killed him if I had another chance, but that's all she wrote. I truly hope you enjoyed yourself during this video, and thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Want to interact with our community? Join the Discord! Want to see more of my content? Check out my other 100 Days videos, or my Arc Let's Play series, or maybe even my second channel where I do some random vlogging shit. I don't know. Cheers, people! See you in the next big show! Take care now! Bye bye